accessory video for you today. I've been working on um, this project that I've designed. I'm really proud of it actually. It's turned out even better than I could imagined in my head. And what I've actually done is I've made um, sort of a little chest of drawers, uh, if you like, with some memory books in. Now I've used the uh, Sea Creature paper from Stamperia. I love, love, love this paper. I really do. I've had so much fun working with it. I really have. So I thought I'd just take some pictures and just show you uh, what it looks like in a bit of a nice surrounding um, rather than um, on my desk. So it's a, a, a nice sort of size and um, I've got some lovely feet on the bottom with some lovely um, metal embellishments. I'll just turn it round and you can see the back. So that's sort of turning it round and then that's sort of the back view of it. So it is like a little test chest of drawers uh, and I'm really really pleased with it actually. It just fits in there so nicely. Okay so what um I've come back over to my my desk now so that I can use both hands to show you this what I think in my head is an amazing project. So this then is your top view of the project. So this is one box here. So I'm just going to turn it over so that you can just see the front. So that then is the front of the project so this is the box and this here is a drawer okay so let's open it up so you can just slide this out so it just slides out and on the top I've got an acetate um, insert so that you can look down and see um, your project or your book in the box so I think that was a cool idea and I got that idea that inspiration come from um, taking Claire Charville's online classes so taking that aside this is then our book so we can take it out now I right so the overall size of the book is um, five and a quarter by six inches the front of the book as I say this is a little tag that you can pull out and on the back there you could put um, a photograph or you could journal using a white pen that would look amazing uh, if you had a white pen and you did some journaling on that with a little photograph so opening it Hang up on. on the front page I've got like a type of waterfall pocket with the removable photo mat stroke journals journaling pages so these come out this will come out and you can add take that out and add some pictures in there if you so wish and then on the back I've just paper pieced and used all my scrap paper that I had left over from this project so coming on to my second page I've just got um, like a belly band type closure here with um, a photo mat in there so you can put photos either side this is a little photo corner punch that I have um, they're so um, handy they really are so uh, and then this is like a little bookmark again if you've got a white pen you could add some white pen journaling on there that would look really cool and then this here is just a little book now what I will do in the uh, next video if I do this as a tutorial I will make this so that you can take it out okay, moving um, over so I've done a waterfall um, page here again lots of spaces for you to add your um, photos onto some more photo mats inside and this one is also a double pocket so pocket at the top and at the bottom and inside the pages or in the tops of the pages in the middle of them I've got like a little pocket in there as well that you could add some extra photo mats in so moving on to this page we've got a pocket and some flaps here that open out 
and more journaling tags again you can add more tags into this now I've done these um, extending spine hinges I think that's what they're called where um, they've they've got like a double join in them so they um, help your pages to sit flatter than um, what they would if you just used the normal uh, spine hinge system so I quite like this system actually it really is a, a quite a cool way so moving on to the next page uh, we, I've got another f uh, like a flap uh, open part here and I have used the magnetic um, closures as you can hear I love that sound and then inside I've actually just made a little booklet um, with some of the nice papers that um, I've got uh, left so again as you can see not all of them have got um, the pa papers are all the way up to the top of your labels um, because it doesn't doesn't look out of place as I say just put the white um, journaling um, card over the top then I made a, a little envelope with some more I say little photo mat journaling parts in and then this is just a little decorative feature of a paper clip that I've just added some circle punches to the top moving over I love this this page it's one of my favorites so we open this out like so and then this pulls out how cool is that? I was so pleased with that when I uh, made that up and again these have all got magnetic snaps I'll do it one more time so you can keep them closed so they will close over the top of that so so you could have yours going this way if you wanted to uh, or that way it's really up to you I wanted it that way because uh, you could see then my girl's face on there so moving on to this page I've got uh, another pocket with just oh this is just a your a plain page with a cut apart that I did uh, and added some journaling lines on there for you to write on then moving over more photo mats and journaling spots there I've kind of doodled around the edges I oh come on focus there we go I've kind of doodled around the edges of these just to give it another bit of um, just something a little bit different and then I've just added on the top I've added just some circle punches just for pull tabs and then the back of the album again is the same as the front with that waterfall type feature with the tags again you can add more tags more photo mats in here um, so yes you can just go mad and then in the side in the pockets don't forget all every page has got a little pocket for extra photos uh, and journaling and memorabilia in there so that then is box or book one so book two is in the drawer so we pull the drawer out and it's just sitting in there so let's push that back in now we're going to go quickly through this one because it is near enough the same so i've got that removable tag on the front again waterfall type uh, pocket holder on the front i've rounded these edges i think they looked a bit better than the straight ones but it gives you the um gives you a choice of what you would like to do so next page I've just added some tags in this little pocket here and I've added a metal um, buckle on the front with some lace and these are little glass domed uh, flat back beads on here so they would look nice if you wanted to accentuate maybe on your um, sort of circle punches they would look quite good as well so again these two pages are very, virtually the same where I've used the decorative features to make them stand out with some tags 
and extra journaling spots I doodled on those I thought they looked quite nice and then you can see it there where I haven't so you know you, you the choice is yours so this page is near enough the same more photo mats but again with the flap pocket and the magnetic, magnetic clap, uh, snaps that close it all up and again some nice journaling spots there a little side waterfall with a space for yet more tags again more tags in there and then the same thing as the little belly band with the um, let the sea set you free uh, cut apart that come in the kit let's close them all up and then this is near enough the same exactly um, the same it's just using the pocket so you can put more uh, photographs in and then this is that lovely closure with the pull out little booklet in there like so again magnetic closures on there and again this can be put round so you can have it like that if you want to I mean that looks okay I might leave it like that um, so it really you know it's, it's up to you how you do your book I'm just giving you those tools so again some env an envelope with some tags in but then this one as on the first one this was all um, stuck down but this one I've tend I've gone where you can open it out a little bit so you can put the photo mat on there uh, I just thought I, I kind of wasted that space on the first one so um, yeah I changed that part of it and again with I love these paper clips and then the back is the same with that uh, feature of the waterfall type pocket holder and then obviously on the back is just plain now you can add on here um, your book dangles if you wanted to um, with a little uh, metal embellishment on there that would look really nice but just bear in mind you can't bunk, bunk, bulk it out too much otherwise it won't fit into your drawer so um, I think I left quite a, I did leave some space in there in case you wanted to do a book dangle on there like so but then you just put it away in your drawer and then that then will sit on your sideboard or on your bookcase um, if you didn't even want to make the actual housing of the chest of drawers you could make two of these boxes and stand them up like so so you can have them so they look like um, like a little book so that you know there's lots and lots of things you can do or you can actually ha have them like this so you if you didn't want to make the box you could have your albums stacked on to your top of your chest of drawers like so so you could probably get another another um, memory book in there um, if you wanted your smaller one and then you would have this drawer here um, just to put uh, extra photos in so again you don't have to just use this um, with the boxes you could um, you know change it up a little bit so, so I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough and um, please give me a thumbs up if you have um, become a subscriber if you're not and if you would be so kind um, to please share this uh, video with your friends on your social medias I would much appreciate it if you did um, yeah if you um, become a subscriber please hit the notification bell that then will send you um, an alert every time I upload new content to my channel so you will be one of the first to see um, the videos that I produce and come out also if there's anything that you would like to see in the future please again either comment below or come over to Facebook or Instagram and just drop me a line um, you know always open to uh, suggestions so yeah please do right uh, with all of that said thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one
Bye.